hi welcome back to my channel right now i just would like to share to you a glimpse of a high school science teacher your life in the classroom especially when you prepare for an experiment now basically most of the science classrooms do not have any laboratory assistance so basically you're on your own in preparing the materials and equipment for any laboratory activity. So for today, I just would like to share to you how I'm arranging my classroom. So you see that the tables are being grouped and that each table has a certain number for every group that will be, um, that will be working in the class. And every table already has all the equipments that they need. So this it took me days to be able to prepare all these things and then if you see in the front at the at my back i put all the chemicals it's a common table where you can also put all the chemicals all at once and that the students will just get what they need but basically each group will have already all their materials and equipments ready for them to use and then because you don't have lab assistance and the classes are continuous you have to brace yourself for preparing for the next set of classes. And because we cannot, we don't have time to clean it ourselves, we can empower our students to be able to um, clean and help us out in organizing the stops that they need so that the next class will be ready for it. So we allot a certain time of the class that we will let them clean up and finish maybe the laboratory report once they are done cleaning up. That way we will be ensured that we will not get in trouble for our next class. And then you make sure that all the things are very clear, the procedures are very clear, and that you have to be able to make sure that the laboratory papers you are handling them are very specific and direct to the point. And we always conduct laboratory, pre-laboratory discussions and after conducting the experiment, the kids should be able to process also during our post-laboratory discussions what was the experiment all about. So it's not really something hard to do, but it requires a lot of preparation beforehand so that you'll be able to successfully implement hands-on, minds-on laboratory activities so to enhance and reinforce the learning of our students of our science concepts. So thank you so much. That's a short one. And I hope I have um, given some help and uh, like an exposure to you already on how it looks like in a science classroom. So till next time, bye bye.